welcome to PyTorch Developer Day. I'm Lin. Today, I will share where PyTorch is and our vision to the future. There are over 260 companies, organizations, universities coming here to join us today. Welcome again to PyTorch Dev Day. is everywhere in our life. I love to use assistant like Siri. My 10-year-old kid has a unique relationship with Siri. They can have a deep conversation for half an hour, such as, Siri, are you smarter than Alexa? And the diplomatic reply, I don't have an answer to that. AI is created by this virtual cycle from data to decision to action, and action generates more data, and this cycle keeps going on. It is an essential part of our modern world in operation, finance, commerce, education, medical, manufacturing, so on and so forth. I call that a wisdom cycle. The speed of iteration of that wisdom cycle is the key to success in a highly dynamic space. This needs is more and more widely shared. PyTorch has focused on accelerating the speed of iteration, getting adopted by researchers, enterprises, entrepreneurs across the board. Our journey of PyTorch Everywhere started a while ago. I'm proud to say PyTorch has penetrated through all different domains. From content understanding across vision, language, speech, to complex multimodality, such as integrity, to very large and complex model architecture for ranking recommendation, complex tasks such as robotics, and high precision tasks in medical field for cancer screening treatment, and self-driving cars. The best research innovations are powered by PyTorch. Lottery Ticket Hypothesis, DALI from OpenAI, Pluribus from Meta AI, winning in six-person Texas Hold'em poker. I'm a big Texas Hold'em fan. Deep Speed from Microsoft. All these are great examples of cutting-edge research innovation using PyTorch. The breakthroughs in production are also powered by PyTorch. In the medical world, Mars diagnosed up to 700 cases of cancer in pets per day. In agriculture, Blue Rivers, as part of John Deere, used PyTorch for robotics farming. United Nations human rights ecosystem uses PyTorch. Metaverse devices, including Oculus, Portal, uses PyTorch to power the AI effects. There are so many other examples of how PyTorch enables breakthroughs in production use cases. In this journey of PyTorch Everywhere, where PyTorch can run has also grown significantly. Single box to multiple boxes, to cloud with horizontal scaling out to a fleet of machines, to scaling to billions of mobile devices and IoT devices. PyTorch today became the operating system behind smart and automated decisions ubiquitously across phones, AR, VR devices, autonomous driving cars, and robotics. I'm thrilled to share the production deployment scale of PyTorch. On server side, we have reached more than 50 trillion inferences per day across public and private clouds. On mobile and IoT side, we have reached more than 40 billion inferences per day on more than 1 billion devices. Congratulations, everyone, for such a huge progress here. One question I've been asking myself a lot is, will PyTorch be adequate for fast research innovation while sustaining the hypergrowth in production? I talk about this healthy tension between research and production last year, as research is always trying to break current paradigm, and production tend to optimize for current paradigm. With the magnitude of this fast adoption of PyTorch, break PyTorch to be this one unified framework, across research and production. I believe that we have a good set of principles to guide our decisions along the way. So the answer is yes, PyTorch will remain as this one unified framework across both re research and production. If we focus on being user-centric, focus on speed of iterations of this wisdom cycle, and empowering our community to develop PyTorch together. 
I talk a lot about being obsessed and user centric in the past. Today, I will focus on the latter two, starting with the speed of iteration. Here are the three critical areas to deliver full speed of iteration across flexibility, performance at scale, and end to end integration through extensibility. Starting with flexibility, PyTorch is born as a flexible machine learning programming offering, and we will continue to invest heavily in this direction. We got strong requests from the community that there are more mixed research done in both deep learning and scientific computing. So we bridge the gap by offering a toolbox for modern research, supporting linear algebra, statistics, physics, complex numbers. We also provide support to composable transformations inspired by our community of JAX. On usability, we enhance PyTorch vision to support mobile use cases as a first-class citizen. With mobile-friendly models, enjoy iOS binaries, more image types, and so on. Torch Audio has grown significantly by 25 times in the past one year. We release performance improvements, new ops, and easy-to-use models for TTS, ASR, and so on. I'm super excited to share that in the future, we will open source Torch Rack for ranking and recommendation use cases. This is a domain powering a big part of the industry. There's a ton of impact to enable in this domain. We will include primitives to compose and execute large and complex models with high scale. Stay tuned, and there are more to come. Performance and scalability accelerate the speed of iteration with additional economical benefits. PyTorch powers model innovation scaling to hundreds of billions of parameters. Our philosophy of high scalability anchored on offering high quality composable primitives for new algorithms. By doing that, we have enabled many cutting edge solutions from the ecosystem, such as DeepSpeed, FairScale, SageMaker, Model Palo, and so on. However, this is not the end. We also absorbed the best solution and the package, the proven building blocks in PyTorch natively. So it's beneficial to user not interested in learning all the scalability knowledge, but also we provide a productive playground for experts who want to push the boundaries. Talking about performance, we have to talk about hardware acceleration. Hardware acceleration is critical to achieve performance speed up, but oftentimes rely on static shapes to push performance towards roof line. On the other spectrum, modeling dynamism is the reality. Such dynamism flows through the funnel from research to production. It needs the expressiveness of a flexible programming language. Many people in the industry think the distance between these two dimensions will increase in the future. However, in the philosophy of PyTorch design, we believe in delivering both. It's not an option not to have that. This combo provides the ultimate power of speed up iteration. But this is a very complex design space with lots of requirements and needs to satisfy across foundational research, applied research, and transitioning research results into production. We have evolved our solution space drastically over the past few years to adapt to this complexity. Over time, we've also seen the trend that those requirements are converging. So I would like to share the simplified design in the following way. Eager mode execution. PyTorch is built around Eager. It is great for fast iteration. Based on the stats from Paper with Code, AI research innovation is not slowing down, but accelerating. There's a high degree of modeling dynamism observed in the industry. I strongly recommend our hardware community to fully embrace the modeling dynamism and prioritize supporting eager mode, including on hardware accelerators. Programming capturing API enables optimization like operator fusion or connecting to specialized backend tool chains. We provide Torch Script and Lazy Tensor as explicit and on-the-fly graph capturing mechanism 
To set up IR interfaces, we also offer graph lower integration points uh, integrating with the backend for both ahead of time or just in time compilation. We want to drive more adoption of mixed, eager, and graph execution. This includes capturing a program fragments wide or narrow, statically or dynamically as needed by the target use cases and by the hardware requirements. We see backend integration as a two-pronged approach. TorScript will continue as the fast-evolving um, representation that we use uh, in mobile and backends that are closely tracking PyTorch development. It's highly dynamic, flexible, but less stable. At the same time, we also want to uh, leverage the representation established in the industries such as Onyx and XLHO where PyTorch can interface with the rest of our hardware ecosystem. It provides stability, but probably less flexible. With all the technology development, I'm proud to say PyTorch is ready for your large-scale machine learning workload in production. PyTorch tightly integrated with the best hardware available today and in the future for all established hardware vendors and the startups. PyTorch is powering the largest scale model in the industry today. It is also scaling in to mobile phones and AR VR devices at a huge volume. Megatron Turing NLG is trained on deep speed Megatron, but built on top of PyTorch with more than 500 billion parameters. PyTorch today runs on more than 1 billion mobile phones and more than 1 million AR VR devices. PyTorch has been validated in industry benchmarks such as MLPerf for both training and inference. It has the best training performance in multiple domains. PyTorch and Onyx are the foundation for hardware backends in over 75% of reported server and edge inferences results. Now let's look into how PyTorch extends to cover a large end-to-end -end space. We have focused on production ecosystem extensibility in the end-to-end -end flow of the wisdom cycle, from data loading and integration to make use of data from anywhere easier, to training with full integration of various different kinds of schedulers and supporting elasticity in the high scale, to evaluation including logging metrics, model understanding, and debugging tools, then inference with building integration with different hardware acceleration, and modeling through pre-built operational tools, and finally end-to-end -end pipeline to tie everything together. We have partnered with the community to improve and unify the extension points and APIs. It will remain as a focus in the future. As one example, TorchX is designed to offer the capability um, of connecting to an ecosystem of uh, schedulers across various different kind of clusters, pipelining, and deployment systems. Torch data is another example of seamlessly multi-targeting to an ecosystem of data engines for data loading, data pre-processing. We're progressing strongly in expanding Torch data to support a slew of data sources, data formats, and composable transforms. PyTorch provides a set of solutions for model serving. TorchServe is a scalable inference solution that starts with AWS and now evolves into a multi-platform solution, runs everywhere, on-premise, on cloud. PyTorch Mobile and PyTorch Live offer small footprint deployment to edge devices and in the future to metaverse devices. Torch Package Torch Deploy provides the components to build your own deployment solutions. Now, this end-to-end -end flow is in production broadly. For example, Theater is a startup that has built a surgical intelligence platform that uses computer vision to extract and annotate key moments from surgical procedures. The platform is powered by PyTorch running on AWS Cloud with the full end-to-end -end pipeline for taking models from research, production, for continuous training and de deployment. Amazon Ads is using PyTorch for verifying their ads hosted by business in more than 15 countries. 
It uses PyTorch distributed training. The prediction runs on TorchServe, deployed on AWS Influentia chips. The end result yielding significant performance wins and cost saving. While the speed of iteration is extremely important for PyTorch's future success, I would like to talk about community code development and ecosystem as another key pillar. I'm thrilled that PyTorch has a vibrant and thriving ecosystem. Thanks to all of your contribution, a simple framework team cannot do all the software development needed. We will keep building the generic building block and incorporate the best tools, op optimization, libraries into our ecosystem offering. This is a way for PyTorch to grow sustainably. About our community growth, this is stats I shared last year. In a year, we have grown substantially to more than 2,000 contributors, doubling downstream project to 90,000, and grown by 20% of PyTorch forum users to 43,000. What I just shared is an extremely complex design space with a ton of trade-offs. Thank you for being this journey with us. Your contribution, your participation, your passion, your enthusiasm made a huge difference. We wouldn't have achieved all this great outcome without the support from all of you from this awesome community. I'm super excited about all our ongoing collaborations, and I cannot wait to see what we can do more together in the future. Thank you all. <laughs>